used effectively and properly in the right situation. But I'm interest, interested uh, in hemp as well. I think it has many possibilities. We built America on hemp. People don't remember that, but that was weed is too mainstream. Crop. We're doing a revolution. We're doing moringa. Yeah, maybe this, maybe this is a perfect segue into discussing our other plant because I was saying to somebody yesterday that one of the things I really appreciate about this company is how it's like almost like a Trojan horse in bringing herbal medicine to mainstream America. You know, because because it's it's such an incredible plant, and so many of us like in 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 this call are are like you know. Medicine, but there's a lot of things that you know doesn't really um, isn't isn't as tuned in. So that's one thing that that I really appreciate that they they really are are marketing primarily you know to the bigger market of America that desperately needs some help. To the Such world, a to the beautiful world. salient point to make. I love the way you frame that up, Katja. Trojan horse. Uh, it's so true because we are, uh, it's a very conversation I had with our president last year. You know, we are marketing to the people that need this, right? Preaching to the choir, those of us who are already in tune with this is good, but reaching out to the people who are still eating at fast food restaurants, right? And turning that around is really the heart of the natural health revolution. So I just really appreciate that you shared that. So somebody's on... Um make a lot of noise. I don't know if I should put a general out unless we can figure out who that is. No, I think uh, what, and, and uh, everyone should just put their calls on mute and, and when you want to want to talk, just unmute yourself and then that way we can hear the audio a lot clearer. Yeah. So coming in the practical intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And you, yeah. And then um, Katya, since you're the host or Amy, um, we can raise our hands. And then um, if you have any pro or yeah, and there's an option within here to raise your hand. It's um... yeah, right down the lower right hand corner on mine under more. Okay. On the tablet at least. And then uh, participants, I think, I don't know. They just did. Oh yeah. If you click on at the bottom participant under your name, if or right at the bottom, it says mute me. And then all to the right of that, it says raise hand. So, or lower hand. Right. But then that, that way will just make the call run a lot smoother and everyone will be heard clearly, so. Alex, um, what do you, have you, have you tried Moringa? What do you know? Where, where how, what are, what's your background with? Um... He just saw the video. Okay. And how about you, Jillian? Oh, you're on mute, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Jillian's okay. already with us. She's in, she's on oh, board. Great. Okay, yep. how, when did you come on? Um, just recently, so my package should be arriving any day, so I haven't had any of the product besides the samples okay. that Kevin had given me in the store. Um, but after I had initially I made contact or had just wandered into the store and then Kevin had spoke to me about the product. Um, I had then had articles and different research that had been popping up to me in different places about the Moringa plant. And also I did my own research cause it piqued my interest. And so of course I went home and was like, what is this guy talking about? Like, okay, what's going on? So that's how I kind of delved in. And then after my hibernation period, I uh, went back or I sent a message and I was like, all right, let's do this. I need to, I need to be doing, I need to be exerting my energy outward and helping people and let's see what this is all about. So cool. that's where I'm at. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, let me just say a little bit about who I am and then maybe we could each, um, you know, other people on this call could tell a little bit of their, their background with what we're doing here. So I'm, I've been an acupuncturist for 20 years here in Portland. And I've been with Deja um, a little over three years. And when I first ran into it, I, um, 
I, I looked at the research, I was impressed with that, and I, and I had a conversation with somebody who's been, uh, who's part of our team, who's a naturopath, and I hadn't even tried the product. Just based on the research, I just had this feeling from the plant that I was gonna do this, even though I had a severe, I call it a severe allergy to MLMs, which in fact, just as a side note, I still kind of have. <laughs> I feel like this company is really special, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that, and, and I, the more the longer i'm in it the more enthusiastic i am because i think everything about what they're doing and the products they produce are such high quality and it's transformed me as a person and i love the the people that are that are coming into this that are drawn to it and i'm learning so much and there's like leadership you know learning going on for me and um just everything about it i love and it's like it's a it it's growing internationally now and uh and you know, I get I'm a single mom, and um, it's it's just been really great to have um, all the different ways that this affects my life and has helped me. So, um, and I, and I love sharing a good thing. I mean, it doesn't really feel like work because I'm going to be telling people about this because it helps people so much. It's it's something that I really believe in, and to have something that feels natural and doesn't feel like work that you're going to be doing anyway. I mean, what? How could it get any better? You know. So. Um, so that's my story. Amy, you want to say something or? Sure. Well, you really hit all the bases. I mean, I just like ditto down the line of everything you just shared. I never in a million years thought I would do anything with network marketing. I thought the whole, all of it was scam. I thought it was cheesy. I think I heard a, you know, somebody dragged me to a meeting once, however many years ago. And I just thought this is all money mongers. And I don't know. It just, I had such a bad impression of all of it that um, it, there's no way I'd be here if it hadn't been for the synergy. I literally had been meditating. I'm a single mom too. And I've been just really calling to myself. I need something that will support my daughter and I. Um, my background is theater, which I love. It's great, but there's no money in it, which I never cared about until I realized my daughter really needs me to make some new decisions here because she deserves better than a community college. And I want to make sure that she has every opportunity and that, you know, when it comes time, I'm able to support myself. <laughs> she doesn't inherit an old lady. <laughs> there were just like so many factors there of suddenly money became something that I needed to look at. And, it, and yet I had such an aversion to it that I thought, okay, it has to be spiritually grounded. It's got to, whatever this is, it's going to have to be something that makes a difference and has to have a global impact. And then I got to meet Ken. And our founder is, if there's such a thing as a Western guru, it's Ken. I mean, totally different cut of cloth. And yet, he's one of the most um, spiritually grounded, authentic, genuine people I've ever met. Um, and he's really committed to being in service to people. When I learned that he was the father, you know, his idea to put herbs in a capsule so that everybody could have that advantage in the Western world. He was trying to figure out how do you get Westerners to eat herbs 50 years ago? I know, put it in a capsule. They'll pop anything. <laughs> it's brilliant, right? And, you know, I've been taking all those supplements for years. And when I realized this man didn't have to do this, he was already retired. And he saw what Moringa could do. He felt spiritually prompted to come out of retirement. He spent $7 million just to see if it might work finding the strain and the people that could do it. And, you know, to have someone who has that kind of heart and those resources, plus the, the business acumen and vision all together in one, like that's what it took for this to exist. And it worked and we made it happen. And I have to tell you, I, I knew right away, I hadn't even tried the product. I, I mean, obviously did look up the research. I have, um, was a licensed physical therapist, uh, therapeutic masseuse, um, hypnotherapist. I mean, had some medical background. I'd done a lot of research. So I could see clearly the plant itself was amazing. Um, and I knew that he was the real deal. And I just decided to jump in and go for it because it was such an answer to that prayer. I literally got the call the next day. It's not something you ignore. And when I, when I experienced this and realized, you know, there's someone who knows how to do this, um, I'm going to go for it. And I literally went all in. I used my emergency credit card that I had put aside for my daughter and I, and I went in and bought the biggest package because the guy who knew what to do said, the more you have, the more you share, the faster you grow. Made sense. And I did his little three-step system. 
literally in 30 days in a business I'd never done before, I made back the entire amount of money I'd put on the credit card to buy the package. And I was stunned. And I realized, like, like Kasha said, it's not sales. It's not sticky weird. It's a very natural process. If you have something that works for you, you're going to share it. So when I think about it, it's more like a referral fee because, you know, I don't make the product. I don't ship it out. They don't pay me for it. I just, people buy it from the company, the company ships it to them and I get a thank you for it. And then that thank you keeps coming over and over and over as long as that person is happy on that product. And that's what creates a residual income. So for me, the best part of this is not only you know, was I able to replace my income in a year and really focus on things I care about. But my daughter didn't go to community college. She graduated from, it's probably one of the most expensive universities in America. Last year, she got a, she did her part. She got a 4.0. But that opened doors around the world for her. And she just completed her first year in a master's program in Italy on full scholarship. And it's like a whole new world is open to her and for me as well. Because now what I get to do is focus on helping other people attain whatever level of health or maybe it's freedom or whatever it is that they want at whatever level they want it at. And the, the whole process is continually having me develop more and more and more in myself. So it's like this constant cyclical gift going around. And all I did to be part of it was say yes and, and keep sharing. So I love it. I really do. <laughs> Actually, really the best part is sampled on this, on this Zoom call right now. It's the people that you get to work with that is irreplaceable. And, you know, you learn your lessons along the way and hopefully keep growing and we all grow up together and get to experience what it's like to actually live the life you dreamt to live. So thank you and thanks for letting me share you guys. Andrew, do you want to comment about um, who you are? <laughs> I have no, no idea who I am. <laughs> Maybe you would know better. Well, I, could, I, could, I, I will say that Andron started a, a superfood company. So of the, of the many people that I spoke to about Moringa initially, he's one of the only people. Well, actually, he was a friend of a friend of mine. I didn't speak to him directly, but I had never heard of Moringa. And he has a background and knew what he was looking at. So he was a confirmation to me that, of how special this particular Moringa is. So anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> you, love. Um, yeah, my name's Andoran, and I'm um, down here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, doing some works with superfoods and detox, and uh, staying with one of my closest brothers on this planet. He's uh, the number one raw food chef in Argentina here, and uh, I'm, I'm grooming him to, to be a part of this team. He goes to New York and sets up uh, high-end restaurants for raw food and superfoods. He's been on the products. We've been making chocolate with the Ameo oils. Since I've been here, we're going to make another batch. We made some raw crackers last night with lemongrass, sweet basil, and coriander. They're out of this world. You can eat these oils. You can eat these mayo oils. This is a cracker we made. It's got superfoods in it. It's completely raw and so vital. Um, we didn't sleep much last night because it's Aurora, uh, Aurora Luce. Aurora, will you step up? This is Aurora. She's uh, my partner and the newest part of, of my team. She'll be coming on today. Um, we've been waiting for a credit card to clear, but we're putting a big load on the credit card once again so we can bring more people on. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just been a journey. It's been an amazing journey. I uh, highly recommend uh, trying the products. It's, uh, the products speak for themselves. It's a product-driven company. One comment I would like to say about what Katia said was, um, how could it get any better? Well, it gets better as you keep drinking Moringa. And it gets better as you keep putting the essential oils in your body and it gets better as you keep moving forward with the company. What I like the most about it is they're paying me to share this opportunity with people. And I'm not really doing anything other than what I would normally do. I do follow up a bit with people. And my basic uh, role at this point is supporting people like Kevin Steele, who's on fire on Team Shasta and supporting him in every way I can and mentoring him in every way I can and watching him go. And it's just, it's just support. It's, it's get, get somebody on your team that, that gets it, show them how to do the simple system Amy spoke of, get them two people, and it just duplicates itself and it's exponential growth. 
Oscars Aurora Light. Hello. It's her birthday today. She's lost over 30 pounds. You want to tell a little something about your journey on Zizia products? Uh, well, let's see. My name is Aurora, and I inspire myself to become a master herbalist like my grandfather was here in the Andes of South America. And I've been traveling with Andrew on here for a couple of months and completely feel full of life. Um, I, I believe that what's happening right now in the world is that the plants and Mother Earth are reaching out for us. And I believe that Moringa is one of those mother plants that really wants us to listen. And it's, it's happening right now. It's healing. And every now and then I hear people around South America and our travels just saying, oh, Moringa, yes, I've, I've heard of that. What, you know, so I know that it's really moving it's, and it's happening. And, I'm grateful for it, and my, my biggest thing isn't so much about, okay, yes, I'm losing weight, which is a great thing, and yes, there's residual income, but for me personally, it's the consciousness that it's creating, it's, it's how um, humanity and the spirit is growing with the plants, and that to me is the biggest the biggest blessing, and it's so rewarding, and that's what keeps me going, and that's what why... I really want to continue doing this. And so I'm very glad that um, I'm a part of this and I am looking forward to getting to know all of you beautiful beings and continue to turn on humanity into healing and deprogramming and using plant medicine and Moringa. Thank you. That little yellow dot in her nose, she stuck her nose in a flower this morning. She's a lot like a butterfly. That's pollen out of a flower. From a tropical flower here in Argentina. Now the babies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aurora. You know, I, I appreciate what you're saying because one of the things over the of the years of drinking moringa, I'm starting to see stuff that um, you know, more subtle things like my fingernails are stronger after three years and stuff. But I think one of the things that that I noticed in the first few months was how my mood and my brain was functioning differently and it's really been an education like how all these like micronutrients that are missing in in the soil like affects our state of consciousness and our mood and you know yeah it's true a lot of people are in physical pain and moringa can help with that but those subtler things are really important too so i appreciate that you brought that up thank you so yeah, I would like to thank you just for um, Aurora. That was wonderful that you absolutely communicated what's at the heart of this for me. Um, I mentioned I hadn't even tried it yet. So when it finally arrived and I drank that first drink that night, I had this incredible dream and it didn't make sense to me for a few days till I went out stargazing. I was like, why am I dreaming about Quetzalcoatl? And, and, I, and I went outside and I was looking at the sky because I haven't seen the Southern Hemisphere yet. And that's one of my, my bucket list items. And I thought, oh my God, wait, it's Kodal. And I was suddenly tracking, you know, all the Mayan studies and went, God, this, no wonder, this is the tree of life. I know in my body that the spirit of Moringa has been waiting for us to do exactly what you say. And it is the fundamental purpose underneath it. Waiting in a sense to be able to be unleashed right at the moment when we need her the most. And her spirit is so beautiful that I, there's no question that you can, you can walk into it, that you can you know, feel it through that silly, you know, packet we have to put it in so it stays alive. It's just incredible. So thank you. You just really filled my heart hearing you share that. Thank you. Awesome, Amy. That's really beautiful. I'd like to introduce the number one raw food chef in all of Argentina. He's the David Wolf of Argentina without question. Super <laughs> humble, really amazing brother. This is Diego Castro. Hello, I'm inviting everybody. him to join us uh, on our team. Nice and uh, you. yeah, you want to say anything about you worked with the oils a little bit? You drank that you drank XM Plus tonight. We didn't sleep much last night. What do you think? No, yes, yes. I noticed. And actually, I've been trying different types of Moringa for the first time was like in 2010 in Hawaii. And I bought it without knowing what it was. And then I tried it in Panama. And, and then tasting here around it's amazing and the oils and I feel I feel great I would I would like to start using them in because I heard about the oils in food but I was wondering uh, about the quality of the oils I didn't use it before now I trust them so 
and I, I, I taste them and I feel it. Now oh, I know. <laughs> Proof's in the pudding, as it turns out. <laughs> Grandma said it. It's really awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Katia. That's, that's our little tidbit for now. Cool. Do, um, Kevin, do you want to, where, oh, well, we can't see you now, but, um, and you're on mute, but do you want to say anything or, or maybe? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. Yes. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, you know, I'm really excited to be a part of this whole team. And uh, like I've told everyone, Anderon was kind of confirmation for me. I've been a fan of his uh, superfoods company and for many years now. And uh, it's just so neat how this is just community ZJ family right here. So I'm, I'm really uh, excited to be a part of this. I'm heading out to Arizona here in a few hours and uh, gonna go promote uh, Zija and, and share the Zija love with, uh, we're going to a Native American neo-tribal event and uh, just looking forward to, um, yeah, meeting everyone in person at Summit. So. Hey. Um, uh, William, would you like to share your story? Uh, you have to take it off of mute, William. We can't hear you. I'll unmute him. I got gotcha. you. Oh, boy. Let's see. I got you. You're, you're unmuted now. I unmuted you. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, this is William here in Mount Shasta, uh, Weed, California, named after Abner Weed. And... Uh, but we have the real plant, Moringa, for the planet. And I agree with everybody that this is the moment going forward. And the, the mother plant is going to heal all the children on earth. I'm a single dad. Uh, everyone on the planet is my mother, father, brother, sister, son and child, son and daughter. And uh, we're just ready to go forward into this great future we're creating right now. That's my story for today. <laughs> William, you're the man. You rock, brother. I love you. I uh, love you all. love you. This is the familia. <laughs> We're so grateful for all of America. No, so, so familia, all the Americas and all of the mundo. Todo mundo, si. Sí. Claro. Todo mundo. Yeah. La vida. Buena onda. <laughs> El planeta. Todo Buena onda. onda. <laughs> Thanks, Back to you, Katya. Monique, you want to say anything? Can't hear you. Oh, I'm going to unmute you. Yeah, there you go. Um, uh, what do you want to know who I am? My name is Monique. I live in uh, Tacoma, Washington. I was introduced for maybe about, it's almost been a year ago, maybe. Uh, to Moringa and I really enjoy the products and um, I'm just, you know, kind of still, um, you know, building my team up and stuff like that. So, but I really enjoy the company and, and the people that are involved in it. So. so. Okay. Hey, hey Katia. Katia. Yes. I would like to say one thing. Go for Is it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only people that lose at the Moringa Zija game are the ones that quit. So take your time. You have the rest of your life. The income just continues to grow. Your team continues to grow as long as you continue to grow. So it's all about personal development. It's 100% reflective business. Whatever you do, whatever you put in, however you move is what you get back. So it's called karma. What goes around comes around. Thanks, Sandron. You're doing awesome, Monique. Awesome. Hey, Andron, can you say something just uh, 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 about what's unique about our Moringa, given your background as um, with superfoods and stuff, just because I think that's something that, you know, as Aurora said, there's a lot more attention on Moringa now. And so it's something that, you know, people shop around and, and, you know, I just think it's a good thing to highlight with your background and experience with Moringa. I would be delighted. Uh, like Diego, I've been working with Moringa for a very long time. Uh, it was introduced to me around, um, I think the first time I saw it was probably about 205, 206. Was using it in smoothie mixes. 
Uh, we were getting big kilos of it for at that time, 45 US dollars, which was very expensive. Now you can get it for as cheap as $20 online. And I discovered after working with it because of all the other high vibrational plants that I was working with that it wasn't doing anything. So I dropped it off uh, at the roadside there and, and really didn't pick it back up um, until I was introduced by Katia to the oils and then immediately signed in to the, the team in five minutes at around $2,900. Just put it all in. I, was, I, I just slid all my coins into the middle. I was all in. And the reason being is the Moringa that we just making is they've done the research. It has to be bioavailable, it has to be enzymatically alive, and it has to be hermetically sealed. If we could get it in a kilo bag and open it up and put it in a drink every day, they would do that. The reason they don't, as soon as you open the bag, it starts to spoil. So we have one serving, unfortunately, at a time. We put it in water, we activate it for up to 15 to 30 minutes, and we drink it as slow as we can throughout the first part of the day. It activates our entire system, it has everything in the tree and in the drink to uptake itself. It's one of the few plants on the planet that will metabolize sugar. I was a sugar Nazi before we started this game. And I went for the Smart Mix, which I recommend everybody starts on Smart Mix for at least a month to clean their hexaprenes out of their stomach walls, to clear their liver, to get on the premium tea at night. So you're doing a, a detox and a tonification. And then... Uh, the, the, the biggest thing about the Moringa that Zija has is they've done their homework. They know what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're presenting a product that, is, that works. And uh, from what I understand, if the numbers haven't changed, the company has about a 94% retention rate on people that try our products. So all it takes is somebody to try it, it starts to work for them, and then they, they become a part of our team. So the, just to make it really simple, if you want to tell somebody, you don't have to get scientific. In fact, the less you say to somebody, the better. So you don't need to be like me and, and spew off all the words. You just say, hey, this product works. See if you can check it out for yourself. Take a look at the opportunity. The product works. The proof's in the pudding. That's what I say to people. Okay. And, and Amy, do you have any um, uh, comments in that regard? Because I think it's, it's helpful, especially the stuff about um, – you know how many different parts of the plant there are that are useful because I, I I just think that is something that's that's important to people when they're looking around and and I didn't know any different I had I felt like I had this communication from the plant and then I learned about Ken Brailsford and I knew that there's a lot of integrity here so I kind of went with it but I, I know that's a question that comes up for people and um, and it's true, of course, like it needs to work. And that's the thing that stuck out to these people with experience with Moringa, that this one actually makes a difference in their bodies. But part of it is because it uses all the different parts of the plant, right? Do you have anything to add to that, to what Andron said about, you know, there's seven different parts of the plant, right, that are. Yeah. Right? Uh, and I, um, I, first I just have to stop and thank you, Andron. That was one of the most eloquent uh, recitations of why this moringa in fact i'd like to get a two minute video clip of that portion because it is as aurora pointed out it's on the table people are starting to see right you've been at this for 10 years but people are just now waking up to um that a plant could actually be this complete uh, it's difficult for them to accept it's not just some other concoction there's a lot of stuff out there and people are confused <clears throat> and getting that message across um, there's no bad moringa, really. It's, it's the majority of it, of uh, the strains, and <clears throat> excuse me, there's about 50 strains. It has eight to nine nutrients. Um, uh, higher grades may have up to 20 to 25 in all of our research that we uncovered. Nothing that has 90 plus. Um, the uptake element is huge, as Andron pointed it out. Um, the fact that that's one of the powers of zeatin, be able to not only have the right amount of calcium. Uh, D, so your calcium is effective, or E and selenium combined, and to be able to actually have one plant that delivers it to the body in a way that you can pull the exact amount of uh, microns, milligrams that you need into your system and then metabolize it so that you're getting not just the nutrition, but you're getting the, the, chem the biochemical balance of nutrients that we need in a way we understand it. And to not have all seven parts of that tree is leaving something out. So if you choose a different Moringa, first of all, it's probably not grown. This is like champagne. Champagne is not champagne unless it's grown in the Champagne Valley, right? This particular strain 
can grow other places. We found we have do, we do have like backup emergency plantations, so to speak, and it's almost as good. But to really get the, the best of what Moringa Olifera has to offer is to grow it where she was born. That's where she wants to be. That's what she understands. And we do that, the highest uh, organic grade, uh, because it's the strictest, the UK organic grade. Um, and so, and then we, of course, pull it, hand harvest it, dry it in ambient temperatures in the shade. You know, no one's doing that. Then to deliver it to a pharmaceutical grade, think about it. This is a food. Ken could have just built a food manufacturing facility. This is like grading carrots in a, in a scientific laboratory. It's so over the top. It's also brilliant. I had to have a conversation with him once. Um, you know, he, he knows where at least we want the pharmaceutical industry to go. It's not quite going there yet, but it will crack, right? Because there's no integrity there. And that where there's no integrity, nothing works. It's going to eventually devolve. And in its place, when people do finally get smart and catch up with this, if you're going to have a choice about a plant to choose, hmm, does it make sense to have one that's pharmaceutically produced? Every molecule is tested before, during, and after five different ways. If one molecule is dead, we literally trash the whole lot. The level of integrity is probably unmatched, at least to my knowledge. Um, with most of the typical corporate companies, it's only the raw food industry that's brought any integrity to you know, the other food that we can finally get. Uh, but to be able to have that and then have all the constituent parts, there's no comparison. Even if someone's using Moringa oleifera in the capsules they're providing online, um, that, that's just one part of the treats, Got a lot in it. The leaves do have you know, quite a bit of what Moringa has to offer. But if it's a lesser strain, obviously there's no contest. If it's Moringa oleifera and it's just the leaves, that's maybe, what, 20% of what the tree has to offer with all its constituent parts. And if it's dried in the sun, you just lost 80% of its effectiveness anyway. So helping people understand the right strain grown properly and harvested, um, you know, facilitated in a pharmaceutical pharmatech facility, so that it's completely protected and then delivered with all of the parts. There's, there's no contest. When I got to speak to our formulator, Russ Bianchi, originally, and I said, okay, so I'm starting to get this. Is this kind of like comparing like a VW Bug to a Cadillac? And he laughed at me. He said, no. Now, this is like roller skates to a rocket ship. No contest. <laughs> when he put his Moringa under his microscope, he said, this is capsule this capsule is filled might as well be filled with dried grass cuttings that's how effective it is no he, contest he told me it would take 23 wheelbarrows of the dried leaf to get what's in the equivalent of one of our packages because the especially if it's the um the the tropical moringa it's too moist yeah. so it doesn't have as much nutrient value i have a question about so one of the things that's so significant for so many people that that drink our Moringa is, is the anti-inflammatory um, properties. And I found myself wondering, because I, I think, I don't know this for sure, as I was checking with you, what part of the plant that comes from? Do you know? Because I'm, I'm wondering if that's more from the oils, which wouldn't necessarily be in the leaves, right? Actually, from my understanding, uh, and I, I'm not an expert in this area, um, because the scientists that I got to work with early on didn't delve into specifying which anti-inflammatories come from which thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that it was the compilation uh, that you can, you know, if you don't have all the aspects, you're going to be missing parts and pieces, yeah. right? Because one of the most powerful things about this, uh, like for instance, with the amino acids also, that they're not just there. To have all 20 is phenomenal, but they are actually in perfect ratio and delivered in sequence, mm -hmm. which is, why, you know, you literally are smarter in 20 minutes. You drink that XM protein, for instance, right? Because it's, it's not just good plant protein. It's the way your body can receive it in the order it can understand. And that's huge. And the, the, I think the greatest challenge we have with this is the learning curve is so high. You know, that's why I love you guys, because it's so wonderful to have, like, what Aurora shared and, and Katja and Andra. I mean, you, Kevin and William, all, at, you know, the, the, vibrational aspect of this and along with having a background of nutritional knowledge uh, is so refreshing and I've you know been teased for a long time of having the woo-woo team but you know what like you watch out we're getting our chops together and we are going to take this thing by storm and who you need most is the people who get this aspect of it mm -hmm. right it's, I also love one other thing Andrew on you that you said it's a reflective business right we do get to grow up together spiritually 
And as we kind of step into our own with this, um, I believe that we'd be able to find effective ways to communicate and help people bridge this learning curve, right? Because the questions you're asking, Katja, are what's people's questions are becoming more sophisticated. You know, mm -hmm. down in the South, this grew the fastest. Why? Because they went, oh, it's good for you. Lose weight. I'll drink it. <laughs> that maybe I don't mean that to be rude, but that is really my firsthand experience. They didn't question it. You get an educated audience, right? Um, it's going to change and people aren't educated, but they want to be. That's kind of the place we are right now. They need a lot more information. They don't even know what to ask for. But if we can deliver it in a way they understand it, which is why I want to get some clips from you, Andron, okay? I think you'd be terrific to deliver that. And Diego, too. Um, Aurora, like those little pieces that will help people understand why do you need all the parts of this strain from this particular tree, right? And all of that. It goes into that and find a way to deliver that in a one bite size piece. <laughs> That's so, our challenge. Yeah, so another piece I would like to just get, um, get another little clip here about um, before, because I would like to talk about the oils too. What's special about the oils? Because that's something that was, um, I knew uh, about, I was using essential oils and I had already kind of understood the, the high quality that this company produces. And so I, I, and so when they came out with the oils, I was really impressed. So I want to touch on that. But before we go there, I'd like to ask Andron another question about some of the other ingredients that, um, um, you know, when we, when we did, we're having conversations with Russ Bianchi and we've touched on this before, but for you as a person who's really interested in, you know, the purity in the, of the product, do you have anything more to say besides, you know, how great the Moringa is, but, you know, some of the questions people have about other, about uh, other elements in the mix and, and in your discernment, in your experience with this, um, how, you know, uh, how you came to, to feel comfortable with the product. Cause I know that was something that you went through, you know? And so I thought it'd be helpful for people to, to, to hear your voice about, about that. You know? You, you know? Thanks, Katia. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Uh, definitely like to thank Amy for being on our call. She's super amazing and just full of knowledge. Uh, consider her the grandmother of our team and of the Zizia nation. She's super, super on it. Um, uh, the computer's telling me that my 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 signal's unstable. So let me know if you can if I lose you. Um, yes, two things I'd like to touch on: uh, the quality of the the production. Uh, I'm I'm into production. I've got two raw food superfood companies: one in South America, one in North America. And production is the most important and vital part for for uh, product purity. So these guys are formulating and extracting all their own uh, ingredients necessary to make the Moringa end up in the package 100% bioavailable and ready for use. So there's certain things in large production like uh, steric acid and uh, guar, guar guar and xanthium and different things. There's three lists, as Russ Bianchi uh, informed me. The guy's a walking genius. If anybody gets the opportunity to meet Russ and talk to him, I highly recommend it, especially if you have any questions about, about anything that has to do with food, especially with Zija. And, the the so let's take for example the steric acid which is found in some corporate products it's not it's considered to be on the bad list uh guara guara as well and xanthium and some different things like that these guys are extracting steric acid from the skin of cacao they're extracting the 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 flow agents and the um, emulsifiers so it will actually go into the water and dissolve uh, from wild crafted seaweed so they've done the homework, like I said earlier, they go to the next level, they're doing everything in house, nobody touches any of our stuff, we're certifying it and testing it five different ways, the Amayo oils are tested 16 different ways, the company is 100% transparent, which integrity is abounding with this company and that was one of the largest attractions I had. I got to meet Ken Brailsford more than one time, I've met his family, I've met the CEO of the company who's his son-in-law, I've met his daughter. Uh, the people from the top to the bottom, the head executives to the to someone like myself who's just on the team, integrity top to bottom. We're a reflective business. It's just reflecting out. Just hold up your 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 mirror that's on, coming from your heart and shine it bright on anybody that you'd like. Ask them to take you know take a look at it and and try the products. 
the products are as clean as they get. They're 100% zero residual is, like, is what I like to say. The Ameo oils, they're the only company that I've found that actually you can prove that they don't have the heavy metals and the pesticides and the herbicides. They're taking it up to a purity level beyond organic. The challenge with organic in this day and age is that organic is certifying the dirt. Above the ground is where all the toxins are in most agricultural situations with all our chemtrails and all the crazy things going on, cross-pollination, everything. So shouldn't we be testing the broccoli and not the dirt or certifying the cabbage head or the moringa or the essential oils? They're selling organic essential oils in the marketplace. You can buy everything that Ameo and Zija has. You can go online and get it for cheaper. The ch challenge is, what are you getting? Is the company in it for money or are they in it for quality? This company's in it for integrity, quality, servitude, and self-growth. Five mantras the company has are five mantras of my life. So it just lines up. Um, Purity is my number one concern when it comes to my own body. I'll be 54 years young in, uh, let's see, it's going to be 16 days. And it uh, feels good to be turning 54. 53 was definitely a, a long ride, a challenging ride. Always is fun when you have challenges. Uh, I, I feel as though the Moringa puts me in a positive mental state every day when I drink it. I get these amazing dreams and I continue to have optimism that the humans on this planet are actually going to be able to survive. And the only way I believe that's going to happen is if we turn to the plants. I've been on plants pretty much all my life. I've never taken pharmaceuticals. I don't own a cell phone. I live in the jungle in the forest. A little extreme, might you say? I'm like, I'm keeping it pure. And I wouldn't need a multi-level marketing company product if you paid me. It's got to be the real. So I'm not looking for money and I'm not looking for any, any, anything that it's a, a scam or a sham or any of that kind of stuff. This is the real deal. Uh, thanks for letting me share my, my story again. And uh, I'm here to serve. Uh, my, my contact information is available. I would love to help anybody with detox, with Zija, growing your team, knowing more about superfoods, anything that I can do to, to be of service. Thanks, Kathy. I love you. Thank you, Andrew. Yay. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Andrew, and that was beautiful. I'm going to jump off to my next uh, Zoom. I, um, I put them off for five minutes because I couldn't stand to miss that, Andron. <laughs> so I better run. Thank you so much for your heart. Every single one of you shared something, and I just feel lit up by it. It's like, you know, getting filled up by Moringa and then getting filled up by the people on Moringa <laughs> is the ultimate. So thank you for my heart, and I look thank forward you. to seeing you. Anything else? Thank you, Amy. I'm going to take this call. We're going to, we're, we can um, use it as Thank a, you, Amy. we can, we can share with people. So I'll send it to you guys and then you can use it with your um, people that you're talking to that have questions about the product and stuff like that. Instead of you saying anything, send them this video. Okay. Thank Amy. you, Katja, for your leadership. We love you, Amy from Argentina. I, look forward uh, to I love you. you. Oh, <laughs> big hugs. Can't wait to Zoom. meet you in person. Aurora. Zoom on. Happy birthday, girlfriend. Your heart to my heart. Monique, Mom, Kevin, look at you all. Oh, my God. I'm just, the tribe's are happy. <laughs> I love you. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks, love. Have a great day. You Bye. too. Bye. Right on. All right. Well, good. Left I mean, on. We, we, Left we on. I think the only prospect we had at the beginning was um, Alex, but I figured we'll just segue this into something we could use. So I think that was some really great, great tidbits there, Andron. Thank you so much. And, and hey, um, one of the most powerful Zoom calls of all time, for sure. Definitely a vehicle to use to share with people. It's so candid and so real. There's no video that can match it, period. Yeah. And we, this is meant to be, every single one of these calls is meant to be. It brings us closer to each other and closer to our hearts and here supporting each other. And this is what we do this for is because mm -hmm. we want to be a part of something greater than ourselves. Mm -hmm. All humans have this desire. That's why the church and politics and competitive sports are so big. We have the job. Can we Welcome. see your full face as you make these, these amazing pronouncements? <laughs> So um, I think it's kind of artistical in a way, you know? <laughs> as, as his eyeball is fading. Uh, <laughs> so, 
Okay, one of the one of the things I talked to Amy about this, I want to pick up the ball on it, that um, I would like to organize a call where we call some of the other leaders that we really like, and Amy has more of a connection with some of them, so she's going to facilitate that, and then we can interview them, and then we can tie it together with, um, like, the call we just did, in a way, and we can use that to send to people, because we can take a segment of the call we just did as a way to show people, like, you know, you know, like I said before, information about Moringa and who we are, because who wouldn't want to join our party? I mean, that's a part. It's not just the product. It's like the community. So this is this is a good call for that, showing who we are. Right. We're build, we're building a enti empire's entire state building. <laughs> Moring, one Moringa person at a time. Brothers and sisters unite. Earth tribe. Earth tribe. Moringa Earth plant tribe. people. Whoop, whoop. Rainbow tribe. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. And um, until next time. All right. Cool. Hey, does anybody know about the promotion? Does oh, Amy.